It has been a while since we had the last best 5 teams for Great League, so here I am with top 3 this time, since not a lot of things have changed, but uh, we have some new additions like Tapu Fini and uh, Araquanid. So hello trainers, Ganeto here, and we're gonna start off with a very easy to build team uh, with uh, Skarmory up on the lead, followed up by Swambert and Vigoroth. I really love how good the synergy is between Skarmory and Swambert. Uh, those two uh, are really working super good together since they both cover each other weaknesses and also you have Vigoroth which is the safe switch that you might be looking for for the Great League uh, format. The core breaker for this team, well it is gonna be Kovagraikos not only because it can beat down the normal type Vigoroth but also it has some soft wins against the lead scenario and the closer Swambert. Uh, still though you can see that you have some moves to utilize this matchup, you can still uh, press it down using some seals in uh, keeping it at the red then your next pokemon can simply farm it down and if you have a shadow version of swamber you can still do a lot of damage with those mud shots farming down uh, the pokemon that you want to farm and then finish off whatever they have at the back skarmory i really like this pokemon i recommend it to you with uh, sky attack for sure if you do not have the resource to build up for a second move just keep in mind that you're gonna need sky attack brave bird for or even plus cannon for some unsuspected rock types that may exist in the meta. Uh, so that's all for this first team, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and now let's move forward into the next one. Araquanid is a strange pokemon, I have found a lot of teams that can kinda work for Araquanid but this particular team can absolutely destroy down the enemy. Uh, I really like the synergy between those picks, you can see that Sabela is the safe switch and Stamp is the clock closer but they both protect from all those weaknesses this Araconid to succeed up on the lead. Araconid is a pokemon that can debuff the opponent with Bugbuzz or Bubble Beam. Bugbuzz has a chance to debuff but still it can hit much harder than Bubble Beam and of course Bugbite is a very nice and neat fast attack to have on the open meta whereas a lot of those dark types exist. Uh, the core breaker for this team is gonna be Tapu Fini and this pokemon is super rare to get because you have to trade for one to get it below 1500 CP and not everyone is gonna have it so this line of three can counter a lot of things in the meta. You're gonna see that Araquanid, uh, let's talk a little bit about this Pokemon, is just gonna destroy down a lot of enemy Pokemon. It is gonna be the only Pokemon that resists the whole moves of Wall Rain. It can beat down certain uh, key matchups, neutral matchups like uh, uh, the Swambert. It has a very bad uh, matchup up against any flyer out there and it is just gonna get destroyed by Registeel. But uh, it can beat down the fighters, uh, the warriors as we said, swamberts and stuff like that. So it is a win and lose situation but with a backline like this I feel like you have nothing to worry about. For the last one, we have a team composition that we have already showcased at the past. Having that Nidoqueen up on the lead with Poison Jab and Poison Fang can really pressure the enemy and Earth Power will just help you with those steel types. Uh, Umbreon is gonna be kinda the closer of the team, I decide to keep it as a closer because it can spam a lot of moves to the enemy, it is pretty bulky and at the same time it doesn't afraid even its counters, you can still hit them hard even if they uh, have some energy ahead, you can take the moves, you can take a pure player up from an Azumarill, a double player up perhaps and still go pretty hard on that Pokemon with back to back last resorts. Keep in mind that you might want last resort over Psychic because uh, they are still gonna do the same job against the fighters. Azumarill is not that good as it used to be, uh, let me be honest with that because a lot of counters exist in the current meta, you're gonna see Trevenants and Red Steels with Zap Cannons and of course the Poison type Nidoqueen all over the meta so all those Pokemon are gonna be pretty bad for the Azumarill, uh, but uh, overall it still handles a lot of Pokemon in the meta, like Araquanid, you can still pressure it down with the play roughs, like Wallen, you can still pressure it down with the play roughs and still take neutral damage from that Earthquake or resist it from the Icicle Spears if they go for the bait. So the core breaker for this team is gonna be not uh, the Wallrine, but this Dugong, because it can be down the front line, the back line, and uh, 
and it is gonna be a pretty soft matchup to be honest so I would not be that worried about Dugong so overall this line of 3 pretty bulky pretty strong and pretty spammy and of course it applies a lot of pressure to the enemy using shields not using shields especially with the poison jab damage and overall I think you're gonna have a great time if you are looking for some competitive battles that's all trainers thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you already haven't this is gonna be a, this was gonna be a top 3 team uh, not the best 5 as always but I hope that you show some uh, respect and if you want to see more videos like this be sure to click over here for my previous best 5 teams for Great League but without Aragonid in it so thank you for watching and I hope to see you all into the next one take care everyone